Whether you're buying cards on the internet or on the convention floor or from a store, there's always a chance that you're buying something that's fake or a fraud. And you need to be very careful, especially if you're making an investment, a serious investment into baseball cards. We're going to discuss that here and we're also going to talk with dealers and store owners and collectors about their experiences. Well, it definitely like, like in any type of collectible you want to make sure what you're buying is real and it hasn't been tampered with and there have been incidents of, of buying cards that, that come across as trimmed or the edges have been retouched. Um, one has to be careful and I guess there's no such thing as being perfect because I, I make mistakes in picking up stuff that I thought was what it was represented to be, but it's not. Uh, grading is another facet of the hobby, which kind of takes out the the uh, uncertainty of the cards being altered or trimmed, because once it's graded and slabbed and encapsulated by an independent third party, pretty much know that the card is is authentic. So um, you know, the best bet is to you know, to ask questions, to to read up, to do as much have as much knowledge as possible, so that you know what you're buying is is is, is real. In vintage cards, there's very little that you see in the way of counterfeits or fakes. That's, in, in the hobby, the high grade cards is where you sometimes see a problem in that there is what's done as card doctoring, such as trimming or building up corners or pressing out creases. That's why PSA, where they go over each card individually and actually examine the cards for any doctoring, for any defects, and then put a grade on it. Gives collectors the knowledge that what they're buying is in its original form, not been tampered with. Well, just remember there's no free lunches. If a deal is too good to be true, it probably is too good to be true. So you gotta, um, if you're buying an expensive card, you really gotta make sure that, uh, A, the card is not a counterfeit, and uh, you, know, you just ask people's opinions. Um, you got to buy from dealers that are reputable, that are trustworthy, guys that have been around a long time, uh, that have a good setup. Most guys like that, you can pretty much tell. If you got a fly-by-night guy, um, you can pretty much tell. You got to be a good judge of human nature. Uh, and aside from that, um, if you buy a card that you think might have a problem, check it out. Ask the dealer to take it out of the holder, measure it up against another card that's, say, a, a Mickey Mantle card that you think might be trimmed. You take a common card of the same year out of somebody's book and you compare the size of the card and make sure it's the same size. Um, but to me, it's about relationships and it's about trusting the dealer. And if you buy from somebody for a while, um, most likely that dealer is not going to uh, try to put one over on you. And that's, and that's really um, one of the advantages of buying from a dealer in a store or even at a show. You buy A lot of the guys buy from the same dealer every time they come to the show because they trust that dealer. There's a relationship. Uh, versus buying from, say, somebody on the computer, on eBay, or something like that, where, you know, it's a really hit-and-run situation. They just want to make the sale, and they don't care about the ramifications of a bad card, selling you a bad card. There's no loyalty there. Um, I've done it. Um, pretty much had no problems. Uh, usually if you deal with one guy, two guys, and you've been happy with them, those are the guys you keep going back to. You know, that's the way I've been doing it. Uh, I buy online but I kind of stick to, to graded cards because it's a commodity. I know what I'm, what I'm pretty much getting um, as far as raw cards go. Online, you have to be careful unless you know who you're buying from. Like you mentioned before about the possible trimming or, or uh, alteration of the cards. Not that it's going to happen, but there is a, a greater probability of it happening buying something raw online as opposed to buying graded or as opposed to buying it from a dealer, from a reputable dealer face to face at a show. Well, the internet's uh, it's opened the market up to everyone. The world is now your marketplace if you want to sell, but it's also driven prices down. Uh, as long as you go about your business smart and, and you're protected, then you're okay to buy on the internet. You yeah, know. buying boxes over the internet's pretty safe, right? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm old school. I believe, you know, when we come to a show, we bring sealed cases. We open our sealed cases and we put them on the table. Um, Buying boxes over the internet, I leave that to the customer. That's their choice because there's some uh, areas you need to be cautious in. That's all I could say. Well, online, for instance, for vintage cards, um, a lot of vintage cards are our lower quality cardboard they are today. More susceptible to water damage that you can't see in a photograph or a scan or small surface creases 
or uh, even some stains that you can't even see in a photograph. But in person, you, you pick the card up, you can take it out of the holder, you can see it eye on the card directly without no glares or any scanner imperfections or even some people even doctor stuff with scanners and, and camera work. Uh, much like you do editing a video, for instance. Um, so you, you can actually see the card and buy the condition, and, and you pay what you feel the card is worth to you. Um, not something where book, book value is or uh, what other people are paying. If you like the card, you want the card, the card looks nice in person, you can pick it up. The last five years I've been buying cards and selling them. I've used eBay to purchase a lot of cards, and I've got many experiences, some good and some bad. First thing I'd like to bring up, only buy from the premier grading companies, graded cards. Uh, they would be Beckett, PSA, and SCG. Stay away from CSA and research any other grading company by Googling them, calling them up if there's a phone number, find out that they exist and they guarantee their stuff. Thank you very much for joining us here at BaseballCardCollectors.com. I hope uh, you found this informative and please stay in touch and keep on returning and visiting our site.